Unit 9, Working in Psychiatry. Eliciting the History, Reading 1. Introduce yourself. Explain to the patient how long the interview will take and explain its purpose. Find out how the patient came to be referred and what his expectations are. Example about treatment. If the patient denies having any problem or reluctant to start talking about himself, do not hurry him. Try asking, how are you? What has been happening to you? What are the most important things? Another approach for hospital patients is to indicate why the GP referred the patient and then ask the patient what the patient thinks about this. Sit back and listen without interrupting, noting exact examples of what the patient is saying. Take more control after about three minutes to cover the following topics. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Word purpose meaning goal. Number 2. Word referred meaning pass on. Number 3. Word expectations meaning hope. Number 4. Word denies meaning refuse. Number 5. Word reluctant meaning unwilling. Number 6. Word hurry meaning quicken. Number 7. Word indicate meaning show. Number 8. Word interrupting meaning break up. Number 9. Word noting meaning write down. Number 10. Word exact meaning correct. Reading 2. Presenting Symptoms. Agree a problem list with the patient early and be sure it is comprehensive. Example. By asking if we were able to deal with all these, would things then be alright? Or, if I were to help you, how would things be different? Then take each problem in turn and find out about the onset, the duration, the effects on the patient's life and family, events coinciding with the onset, the solutions tried, reasons why they failed. The next step is to inquire about moods and beliefs during the last weeks. This is different from the mental state examination, which refers to the mental state at the time of interview. Vocabulary 2 Number one, word devastating, meaning very harmful. Number two, word preventable, meaning avoidable. Number three, word immediately, meaning instantly. Number four, word dare, meaning challenge. Number five, word fate, meaning density. Number six, word enthusiastic, meaning excited. Number seven, word inquire, meaning to ask somebody for some information. Number eight, word moods, meaning frame of mind. Number nine, word beliefs, meaning faith. Number ten, word mental, meaning connected with or happening in the mind, involving the process of thinking. Number eleven, word state, meaning situation. Number twelve, word solutions, meaning way out. Reading three, specifically check for suicidal thoughts, plans, or actions. The more specific these are, the greater the danger. Discussing suicide doesn't increase the danger. Depression, low mood, anhedonia, unable to feel pleasure, self-denigration, I am worthless, oh, I wish I had not been born, guilt, it's all my fault. Lack of interest in hobbies and friends, plus biological markers of depression, early morning waking, Decreased appetite and sexual activity. Weight loss. Mania. Symptoms of psychosis. Persecutory beliefs. Delusions. Hallucination. Drug and alcohol use. Obsessional thoughts and anxiety. Eating disorders. Young women often not volunteered and important. Note. Compulsive behavior. Excessive hand washing. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Word suicidal, meaning desperate. Number 2. Word plans, meaning strategy. Number 3. Word depression, meaning sadness. Number 4. Word excessive, meaning too much. Number 5. Word delusions, meaning mistaken impression accepted as a reality. Number 6. Word obsession, meaning thinking too much about one particular person or thing. Number seven, word volunteered, meaning 
to suggest something or tell somebody something without being asked. Number eight, word appetite, meaning hunger. Number nine, word mania, meaning desired. Number ten, word psychosis, meaning a serious mental illness that affects the whole personality. Number eleven, word behavior, meaning manners. Number twelve, word hallucination, meaning delusion, illusion. Number thirteen, word anxiety, meaning nervousness. Number fourteen, word compulsive behavior, meaning a behavior that is difficult to stop or control.